All right, everybody, it's Tanya Milano Snell, parent coach, and I am back for the OM for the Holiday Summit talking to Jill about her unique family. And um, she's going to tell us a little bit about herself and a little bit about what makes up her family. So thank you, Jill, for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think, you know, every family is unique, right? Um, there's definitely quite the uniqueness in my family. Um, I am a, now a single mom um, or divorced mom. I don't know how you say it, right? Um, of two kids who um, at the time we're <laughs> talking about this, they both have their birthdays next week, um, right before Christmas, which is super fun. And they're turning, I have an eight-year-old son and or turning eight. And my daughter is now going to be a teenager next week, 13. <laughs> um, and so I'm in the home and I am divorced. So I know you and I were kind of talking about this a little bit earlier about how like the divorce changes so many things, like especially the holidays for me. Um, I'm divorced. My ex-husband is now remarried. Um, and we have a really great, I think pretty great co-parenting relationship to the point where like just a couple of years ago, people didn't even know I was divorced. And I was like, who do you think this other third, this, this other <laughs> woman is that's coming? Like, we're just, I mean, I guess the day and age, you never know, right? Um, <laughs> I remember someone being like, oh, I didn't even know you were divorced. And I was like, yeah, been divorced like three years. Like, you know, it's not something you like announce, but right. it is part of me, right? Um, but, you know, we get along pretty well, like we will go to, and this is the, probably the reason why, like we're at the sporting events, mm -hmm. we're at the kids things and we all sit together. Yeah. Um, but it hasn't always been that way. Right. When I got divorced, there was anger. There was all the things that you were kind of feeling. Everybody feels this and like frustration and life is changing and so much change. Um, but for me, my number one priority was my children. Still is my children. Well, I've now learned to put myself <laughs> up there, right? Yeah. Um, but when I first got divorced, it was like my kids were the number one. I did all the research, did all the things, all the conscious parenting thing, all the things of what's going to transition them the best. Mm -hmm. um, and then through that realized, um, actually, I have to put me first in order mm -hmm. for them to be amazing right? Yeah. Um, so now our journey has led me, like my own personal healing journey has led me into like energy healing and all these other things that um, help me to lift me up. And I'll never forget the day that my kids were like, mom, I'm so glad like that you are happy now. Uh, and like still tears to my that. eyes of them seeing, first of all, I knew they were okay. Yeah. After the divorce. Right. But second, I was like, wow, me actually putting myself first improved my family. Yeah. That's a huge lesson right there. And so they were able to see the difference in the marriage versus the divorce. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, and it's, it's a lot of work. It, yeah. You know, it's, it's been a lot of work and I sucked up all these things and I did all this ridiculous amounts of healing and still am it's continuous. Right. Um, but it was like, just one of those things where I was like, you know, I made, we made the right decision. We, as a family, we're still a family. Yeah. Yeah. Every family just, is different. That's something I want to highlight for the own, for the um, holiday summit is that all of these conscious families look different and do things differently. Yeah. So, um, and OM to me means unity, like coming together, like all encompassing. I got the chills when you said that. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you create unity over the holidays then with two houses? <laughs> oh, that, that has taken time um, for sure. Mm -hmm. It was, I'll never forget, like when we were doing our like paperwork, um, you know, the official stuff that we file and it was like the splitting of the holidays. And I mean, the amount of tears yeah, of even thinking about not being with my children on Christmas day or Thanksgiving day or flag day. I mean, like any of the holidays, <laughs> I was like, why am I not with my kids? Right. Yeah. Um, now, to be honest, it's, it's about 
the season. It's about the time. It's not about the day. Right. And so we have adapted in a lot of ways. First of all, I did a lot of soul searching to say the things that I was doing with my ex-husband or on my own, the things that where we were going, what we were doing, all of that. Does that actually align with me? Do I enjoy it? Do I love it? Do we love it as a family? You know, like, so we did a lot of just digging into like, am I just doing it because it's tradition? I love tradition. Believe me, don't get me wrong. But like, am I just doing these things because of that? Am I only upset because traditionally this is what we've always done? And some of it, yeah, like it was not something that really mattered, right? Mm -hmm. Um, So I looked at some of that and then I just kind of, again, through healing, through just the change, because it was so much change, um, we've just adapted and adjusted. So yes, traditionally, I don't have my kids every single Christmas day. So like, we don't traditionally do the same exact thing, but we can do it on another day. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a day of the month, right? Yeah. It's just a day of the month. And it's, you know, it's like, I'm so at peace with that now. Um, but it's taken a while to get there. And we, and to be honest, like what I, when I see them light up and they're super excited to go to their stepmom's families, I get excited for them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You feel that joy and that magic yes. it doesn't have to be just in your house. Like, yes. I, I so it's like with going to school too, there's yeah. like this, there's certain events that are just so magical that they want to be a part of. Yeah. It yeah, it's just feeling the like gratitude. Like, it's like they're oh, yeah. yeah, feeling the joy, feeling the gratitude, like through them. Like my children and I are very close and mm-hmm. I truly feel joy when they feel joy, right? So it's, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Mm-hmm. I'm grateful that they have this extended family that they didn't have. And just looking at that uniqueness of life and, and looking at what there is to be grateful for, not the fact that I'm like home Christmas morning by myself, right? Like I'm not going to sit there. I mean, I had plenty of moments that were like that. Right. Um, and there's still waves. Sometimes it's like, Oh, I really wish they were here with me right now. Yeah. And you know, this this brings up, I, I talk a lot about grief and so grief isn't just the loss of a person. It's not just about a death, right? It's a loss of a life that once was or the way things used to be. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you have to process that change and it takes a few years to. Yeah. And there's still layers like, right. So I'm like years in, I'm, I fully know this and I can speak this to you now. Mm -hmm. Right. But there still will be those moments that I'm like, no, I don't want to go to their house because I want to go I only want to go if my kids are with me and I don't feel like doing that. And the big thing is just honoring, feeling the feelings. Yeah. Honoring the feelings. And I know you talk about this kind of stuff, like obviously like feeling that grief. Okay. Yeah, I'm in that moment. Okay. I'm going to feel that. And then that way I'm able to release it mm-hmm. and just like move forward. So, you know, the holidays actually all look different kind of sort of every year in some way. Um, but new traditions have started like, um, gingerbread house making with my brothers, you know, um, and their children on like whatever day we're able to do it during the month of December or January. Right. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's after Christmas. Yeah. yeah. And like the gift giving has kind of changed too, because one income household for me working on building my own business, you know, over the last few years is like, there's a lot more homemade gifts. Like I, you know, my kids' birthdays are also in December. So like December is kind of a, one of those months, right? Um, but even during all the other holidays, it's like really embracing the joy, embracing the gift giving. And I love to receive homemade gifts. So yeah. we also love to give them and we put time and energy I reiki them, you know, the whole thing before I give them, right? So that it's very intentional. Yeah, you're giving, not just giving an object, you're giving a piece of yourself, right? Like you put that love into it. I love home methods too. So um, you talked a little bit about this, like this, the, what you do in your business and part of 
Own for the Holiday Summit is sharing some of what you do to serve other people, like yeah. consciously. So can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to um, provide for the summit in like a little? Absolutely. 30 minute um, workshop. Yeah. So um, one of the big things I think, especially during the holidays, kind of like what I was saying before, is we just get in that motion of all the traditions and all the things that we have to do and we're shopping and we're preparing and we're doing all these things. Um, and then we feel, then all of a sudden we're feeling like our energy drained and we're feeling super overwhelmed. And a lot of times it's not even our overwhelm. It's just like all the energy around us. So, um, you know, one of the things that I will be sharing and helping and talking with is ways to protect your energy in your children's and your family's energy during the holidays um, to protect it as well as like lift it up. Right. So I'm a Reiki master teacher. So like uh, and Reiki is universal life force energy. So it's energy. All of our energy is connected. Mm -hmm. And when we're um, able to be more intentional with that and and take steps to protect it, we're able to, you know, be in the joy in the good stuff a little bit more than the overwhelm, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so that's what the workshop will be about. I'll do some Reiki and, and I will, um, you know, share ways to protect your energy. And these things can be obviously used really any time of year, um, all the time. But during the holidays, I feel like it's extra important because that's when we get the extra overwhelm. Yeah, um, I'm excited for it. Because for yeah. me, like I... I intentionally stay home a lot of times because of that energy. Like it just takes so much out of me. Yeah. Um, but I've, I'm looking forward to the tips of like, well, if I'm planning on this dinner here and this dinner here, yeah. and this shopping day here, like I need some tools in my tool belt. Right. So I'm really, yeah, cause you still want to enjoy it and like partake in some things, but I get it. Like I can totally hermit myself sometimes. And even I do it, even though I know how to protect, but sometimes it's like, Oh, I don't want to go out into the world. Right. And this even is like on social media. I mean, there are ways to protect yourself yeah. because again, energy is everywhere. Right. Um, and this is like a small piece of what I share in, I have, um, I call it the high vibe holidays, <laughs> um, course, and I will be giving that away for like 50% off, like for anybody who's interested. And these are some of the tips, um, that I share in there, as well as other things that can be used again all season long. Um, but the main focus is at the holidays, how do we have the highest vibrational holidays that we can have yeah. and, and be intentional and be, like you said, conscious parenting and be able to take care of ourselves as well as our family during that time. Awesome, Jill. Thank yeah. you so much. We'll have your links to your course in there for everybody to get that 50% yeah. off. So thanks for talking to me today. Thanks and I'll see you at your workshop. Yay, can't wait. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>